Good morning. It's Miss Ann. This is the second day of uh, doing portraits of people. So yesterday we chose either to draw ourselves with um, using a mirror or a picture of ourselves or to draw somebody else with using a picture or actually having the person sit there with us. So uh, yesterday we also did um, the guidelines uh, down our uh, well, first of all, we made the shape of our head, um, which is kind of an oval with kind of a flatter top. And then we worked on the chin, the different people, different types of chins people have. Um, then we added some lines for uh, the eyes, where the eyes would be placed, where the nose and then the mouth. We added the ears, where the ears will be placed. We didn't finish the ears. Um, and of course we added the neck and we talked about um, if, if it's a boy or uh, an older boy um, or a man, their necks are a little thicker than a, a younger boy or a woman or a girl, um, their necks are a little thinner. Okay, so today we're going to um, finish that we got some things, we got some more details to work on. We worked on the nose. Um, the line of the nose, remember, I thought it was real important that we get that line of the nose, which has the nostrils. And depending on what your nose type is, I think we, I did some examples of some noses. I don't know what I do with them. I keep turning this paper over. Let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah. Remember we did, remember these were, this is my sister's nose, this is my nose, and that's my other sister's nose. And then we did just some sample noses from um, this sheet I had so okay so let's work on um, the shadows around the nose um, let's flush that nose out let me make sure you can see this yeah okay so um, look in the picture of your nose or of the person that you're doing or the mirror that you're looking at and try to find out where the shadows are um, let's see for this, this photo I have, um, the, it's highlighted, you can see, I don't know if you can see that, the very tip of his nose is highlighted. In fact, you can see those highlights. See, there's one, two. But all around the nose, it's pretty shadow. It's more shadowed on this side. It looks like the light source was over here, was coming from here. So I'm going to add a little bit of shadow just um, to shape it up along his nose along this side. And I'm just going to go back and forth with my, my um, pencil like this. Okay, just back and forth to give it a little bit of a, a three-dimensional shape. Because we know, we know that the nose is three-dimensional. The whole face is. We don't want it to look flat. We don't want it to look like a cartoon. Okay. We might want to erase this line. Remember the line that we drew? We probably don't need that anymore. Oh. Okay. okay. He's got a little bit of shadow over here. Most of his shadow is on this side of his nose. How's that look? Does that look more three-dimensional? And then we're going to go kind of in the bottom of his nose like that. We're going to leave this real white there. Okay. How's that look? Does that look okay? Okay. Now, um, about his, his eyes. Okay, let's kind of, okay, we did um, the shape of his eyes. Colin, uh, my son's kind of got, um, a lot of people have almond-shaped eyes. So what's an almond-shaped eye? Let's do, let's just do it on here. Oh, that was my hair. An almond-shaped eye is kind of a uh, oval, but it's got more, like this is an almond-shaped eye. It's not really look like an almond, but it's, um, it's an oval with some, um, some points. Um, this is where the eye, this is where the nose would be, right here. And this is the outside of the eye. And then there's usually um, 
an eyelid. Well, there always is an eyelid. And most times you could see it. People generally do not have their eyes open so wide that you can't see the eyelid. Only if they're really, really surprised. So that's kind of the line for the eyelid. And then there's lashes. Um, the lashes, sometimes you could see if they're, sometimes you can't. Um, a lot of women, um, older women, or older, adult women, I should say, teenage girls, they wear um, mascara to make their eyelashes a little darker. So, but generally your eyelashes are about that size, unless you were born with incredible eyelashes. And then there's eyelashes on the bottom, but they're much smaller. Okay. Okay. So that's the basic shape of an eye. So let's, but not everybody's eyes look like that. So take a look at your picture. Is your eye that you're drawing, is it rounder? Like that. Let me make sure you can see this. I'm kind of tooting off the edge. It's so rounder like that. Like that, see how much rounder that is? It's it's wider, or not wider, taller. Oh, they don't describe eyes as being tall. So like that, is it, or is it more, um, like that, more like that. Maybe the eyelid is more pronounced. Okay, okay, so let's talk about the different parts of the eye. Um, there's two circles in an eye. There is something called the iris, and that is the colored part of the eye. So if you have brown eyes, this would be brown. This area would be brown. If you have blue eyes, it would be blue. Um, so, And then there's the pupil. The pupil is the black part of the eye. Or it looks black, I should say. Okay, usually in the pupil, when we color it, or when we draw it, we leave like a little square or rectangle of um, white to give it the highlight, the gleam in somebody's eye. Otherwise, if you don't have that, they look, the, the eyes look dead. I make that really dark. Okay. And then the iris is like this, all oh, these like little, they look like fibers just kind of go back and forth. And this would be the colored part. Um, let me use a colored pencil just to show you. Oh, I don't know what I do. Oh, well, my colored pencils are in a bag that I used. Oh, I went to a friend's house and drew. drew. Um, right, this would never, well, maybe you had purple eyes. So if you had purple eyes, which I guess sometimes you could, this would be like this, it's different fiber. It looks like fiber. It's not a solid, so that's what it would look like if you had purple eyes, <laughs> which I've never met anybody, but it's the only color I have. Okay, so let's go back. So kind of decide what shape eyes you're, you have. Where's the drawing? Oh. Oh. Okay, so I'm looking at Colin, Colin's eyes. Um, they are... You could see his eyelids, so we're gonna draw another line for his eyelid. So we're gonna draw like that. Okay. Draw another line for that. His eyes are pretty wide open for him. I mean, that's as open as they get. And then um, he's got, if you see, I don't know if you can see that, he does have eyelashes. He's nicer eyelashes than I do. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna draw some. And then I like the corners a little darker. The corners a little darker. Then I'm gonna draw um, the iris and then the pupil. The iris, remember, is the colored part. Uh, since we're just doing this in black and white, we'll just do it, kind of make a gray. So those are the irises. And you don't see, I know it's a circle, but you don't see the whole circle because the eye, the upper lid and the lower lid are kind of covering it. It's very rare that you see the whole circle of the iris. 
Now you could see the whole circle of the pupil because his pupils aren't that big right now. Okay. So I'm gonna make my little square and then I'm gonna make this really black just with my pencil. And then make that little. Oh. Okay, and then I'm just gonna kind of make this kind of gray. I'm just gonna do like these circles like this just to make it look like it's got fibers. I don't know what those, you know, I'm, I wish I could tell you what those are. Okay, all right. Mm, this eye looks different. Okay. Okay, now, the eye sits. See these? Make sure you can see it. Okay, look at your picture and feel, and while you're looking at your picture, too, uh, I want you to close your eyes. <laughs> Obviously, after you looked at your picture, because you can't look at your picture and close your eyes at the same thing. That's just, at the same time, that's just silly. So close your eyes right now. And put your, put both your hands on, um, gently on your uh, eyeballs. And then feel around your eyeballs. There is like a hole, because your eyeball is sitting in your eye socket. And you could see, and you could feel where your eye socket is. So for Colin, his eye socket's right there. See that? See, you see that? See how it, you could see? It gets a little darker there, it's lighter there. So we're gonna draw, we're not drawing the eye socket, but we're gonna shade around where the eye socket is. And what forms the upper part of the um, eye socket is actually kind of the eyebrow. That's where the edge of the upper part of the eye socket is, is where the eyebrow is. Okay, so let's do the other side too. Can you see the other side? Like right there. Okay. So your eyes kind of sit in the eye socket, and your the eye socket protects your eyes from nothing. Really, it's gonna they they kind of sit back in the eye socket. Your eyes, your eyeballs. How's that look? Look okay? Now, and then, okay, should we work on your hair now? I guess we could work on hair now, because this is the next step. We gotta work on the hair, because then we're gonna work on the forehead. Okay, let's talk about hair. Um, if, uh, I kinda drew some hairs. Here it is. Okay, I was drawing before we started different types of hair. So, Colin just has your basic short haircut on men. So I think a lot of boys in the class have hair that looks like this. Um, it's just close, close to the skull, maybe a little bit of um, height there. Girls are a little different. They're actually more fun. Okay, so let's draw. I'm just going to draw a shape of a, a face, a head. Okay, so to make bangs, if you have bangs, your bangs don't start like up here. Your bang, your hairline, remember your hairline is like right here. So to make bangs, um, let's say, it depends on the length. I, I, there's some girls in, I forget class, which class they were in. Oh, um, 
uh, I think it was trainer's class, had really nice bangs. Um, and they came all the way down. Like here. You just go back and forth and they're generally kind of even. Unless you haven't had your hair cut for a while, which is probably true. So they're kind of like that. And then depending on your hair, either if you have them in a ponytail, the hair's gonna go back like that. And then to draw a ponytail, if you're looking at yourself, um, if your ponytail is behind your head, then you wouldn't see where it's gathered. But if it's on top of your head, you could probably see like a little bit like that. And that would indicate there's a ponytail there. And then you could actually, let's draw the neck. You could have the ponytail kind of coming over your shoulder, even though it may not be, just to show that you have a ponytail. Um, if you have your hair pulled back, this is what I did for the hair pulled back. A lot of girls wear um, ponytails or buns um, or uh, updos. Um, and they will have their hair pulled back. Let's make some ears just to give you a... So there, there's no bangs. Their hair is pulled back away from um, their head. And the bun would be up here. Okay. Like that. If you have... Um, let's see. Now... Some have, uh, there's some girls that have really massive amount of hair back there. So that wouldn't cover it, would it? That's too small. Um, so you could just kind of do, and it's real soft hair, you know. So that doesn't look really good, does it? <laughs> oh, let's see. Oh, that looks actually kind of good. Okay, so, and you could just kind of color that with your pencil. Because that, to me, looks like there's a lot of real soft hair back there. It's not um, like pulled back in a ponytail. It's like really soft. Okay. Um, if you have longer hair and it's not in a ponytail, it all, I mean, it depends. Um, let's say here's your hairline. You could have, um, give yourself bangs. If you don't have bangs, just don't draw them. Okay, let's do some circles, or some ears right here. Okay, so for longer hair, um, you could have your hair kind of going like that. How's that look? You know, and then your neck is here. And depending on how long it is, um, your shoulders would be here. You could have it going in front of your, your shoulders or behind your shoulders, depends and how you like to wear your hair. Generally, it's behind your shoulders if you have longer hair. And you could make it as full. Like when my hair is long, I used to have a long when I was in, uh, up until, hmm, gosh. I didn't have, I, I wasn't allowed to keep it long when I was younger because my mom always made me cut it because it was really hard to comb because I have so many knots in my hair. So I always kept it really short, like, um, I don't know if you can see this. Can you see this? Yeah. Um, I always had what they call, back in my day, it was called a pixie cut, which is a real unappealing look for a little girl. It was real short, you know, it looked like that. I never liked it. Um, when I got older, I grew it longer, and it was really curly, um, kind of messy. It was always messy looking. <laughs> It's always messy looking now, but it was really messy looking when I was um, like an adult, but I liked it. So it was just like curls, like that. And I didn't have bangs, because bangs would mean it was organized. It was more like hair like this. It was just kind of crazy, crazy hair, but I liked it. Um, but in the summer, it's very hot, so that's why I keep my hair cut shorter now. So we've got bangs with the ponytail. If you have, I don't think anybody has pigtails trying to visualize if you have pigtails. Um, but if you did, um, we could do, let's see. Let's do some pigtails. 
All right, let's see. Pigtails usually involve, I think, bangs. I'm trying to remember who's got pigtails in my neighborhood. Oh, pigtails are harder. Um, let's see. Oh, you know what? I don't even know if little girls wear pigtails anymore. They may wear, like, braids. Oh, okay, okay. All right, so if you have braids with um, some really cool beads in there. This may work. So I think sometimes there's beads in the, I said I was gonna get some pictures, but I didn't really wanna go to the store to be honest with you. I don't know what, I'd have to go to like um, um, the store. <laughs> and I don't know what I would be looking for, pictures of hairstyles or something like that. Okay, so those would be beads. Not really well drawn. Um, and then this could be, you don't have to, when you're braiding your hair, it's very detailed, but when you're drawing it, it doesn't have to be. It's just kind of like this, you know. And then if there's beads in there, um, you could do those different colors. And then, let's see, I can make those more beads. More braids. This would all be like hair. This kind of represents hair. And I think there's some little girls that have hair like this. I know there's uh, some kindergartners. So, something like that, that might be nice. Those are look, actually would look kind of cool. And then the ears would be back here. Okay, all right. So, there's all sorts of things you could do with your hair that would make it look fun, that would make it look like you or the person you're drawing. Now, the person that I'm drawing has just your basic haircut. So, we're just gonna add some hair. Um, he's got a little bit of hair there. He's got a little pup. It's got some pup there. And there. Okay. Okay. So, um, to make this look more round, because your your face is not flat. Um, you're not flat Stanley. I don't know if they do flat Stanley um, in your school. They, that's something they did in my school. My kid's school. Um, it was this little flat guy that they would mail to different places. And he was flat. You can go in envelopes. So we're going to draw, um, we're going to just do some shading around his forehead to make it not look so flat. I'm going to make that a little darker. He's got really dark eyebrows. So a little shading over here. And then maybe a little shading over here. And you want to do the same. Okay, all right. Then what do we gotta do? Oh, uh, we gotta finish his nose. So uh, the nostrils are obviously, we wanna make those darker because those are holes. You know, they're holes that allow um, you to breathe and for mucus to come out of it when you have a cold. Okay. And smell, yes. <laughs> Breathing and smelling. Are two important things that your nose does. Okay. Let's see. Then, uh, Colin's uh, lips are a little different color than his uh, skin tone. We're just going to make them a little gray. If we were going to color this, um, they're a little pink, a little bit of pink but not too pink, okay. All right, and then Colin looks like he's got the start of a mustache. Now, I don't, unless you're drawing your dad or your older brother or your grandfather, there's probably not gonna be a mustache there. So we're just gonna draw a little bit there. Just a little bit, looks like he just didn't shave. Okay. Now, underneath the mouth um, is the chin, and the chin has like this little, you can see he's got like, it's like a little dent. He's got, um, what do they call that? Like a cleft in your chin. So we're gonna draw that a little bit. Okay, how does that look? Really doesn't look like him, but that's okay. 
Uh, let's see. Let's work on his ears because we just made those circles, those half circles. So we want to do some ears. So the ears have a lot of folds. When I draw ears, I don't really do them that detailed. So I'm just going to put a little detail here. A little detail there. Okay. If he, um, oh, if you have earrings, I don't know. I think there's some girls that have earrings. Um, if I were to have earrings, I wear earrings a lot. I love earrings because my hair is short. So I love to wear earrings. So let's let's draw Miss Anne. Let's make her ears right here. Okay, so sometimes I just wear little earrings like little hoops. So those would be like that. Like a little hoop. But sometimes I wear really long earrings like that. It depends. So you want to do your earrings. Okay. Colin does not wear earrings. Okay. Okay, let's see. Now I'm just kind of doing some shading. And around his, it gets a little darker around your eyes over here. Oh, let's see if you have glasses. Hmm, I think a couple kids, well, several kids have glasses. I wear glasses too. Glasses are hard, <laughs> really hard to draw. But we'll give it a shot. Should we put some glasses on Colin? Sure. Although he's really good vision. He has vision like his dad, not like me. Okay. Okay, let's put some glasses. So, let's see what kind of shape. We're not gonna do, we're gonna do glasses on somebody else. Okay, so, depends on your glasses. Okay, so here's a, a body. Um, here's his eyes. I'm just doing this real quick. And here's the nose. Okay. So your glasses, let's make his mouth. ears. Remember the ears start by the eyes. Okay, so it depends on the glasses, but um, the shape of the glasses, some are, some are round like that. That's sometimes people have reading glasses that look like that. Um, let's see. So there's this thing. This is the bridge that goes over the nose that it sits on and then we'll make kind of rectangular glasses. A lot of glasses are just a real simple shape of rectangles. Like that. And then there's these things that rest on your ears to keep your glasses up. So that's a pair of glasses. Okay. Okay. So let's see what else can we do with this one. Um, if you're, look how the neck, this sits back. Um, so we want to make some shadows back there. And you just go back and forth. Like that. There. Okay. He's got darker hair than I made. All right, kind of clean that up. Okay, I don't know if I did a really good job there. I made it too messy. Sometimes I go too messy. Uh, let's see, uh, it's probably a little too dark. <laughs> It depends on what you're wearing or the picture, the person that you're drawing a picture of. Um, he's wearing a jacket, um, so I just make a collar like that. Um, if he was wearing a um, a t-shirt underneath there, you probably you probably is. You just don't see it. it. Would be something like that, and then shoulders. Okay. 
this is kind of okay. But I would really love for you to post on Class Dojo your pictures that you're drawing. I think that would be really fun. I think you can do that. Or send them to me, or send them to your teachers. Um, well, actually, I think Class Dojo you could post. Does that look okay? It does. Let's see. Yeah. Mm. It doesn't really look like him. But it looks like a guy. It looks like a boy. So. The other one looks more like him. I think I have them too wide. Let's see. You know what you have to do? You have to learn to walk away. Right? Okay. All right. Okay, how are we doing? Oh, we're at 31 minutes again. Oh, this has gone too fast. Okay, so um, I hope you have a great day. I will talk to you next week. I think next week we're gonna draw some buildings. Um, I don't know what buildings we're gonna draw, um, but I'll have some samples of some buildings. And um, maybe we'll walk around and find some pretty buildings to draw. I don't know how I would do that, <laughs> but we'll figure it out. So um, have a great week and I will talk to you next week.